After testing so many different Chinese X99 motherboards, I am no longer excited about AliExpress packages. But this one comes from Korea and I am actually really excited to get it open. As you can see, here I have an Odroid SBC or Odroid single board computer and this one is H4+, Plus, which is actually x86 and not ARM. A part of the Odroid itself, I have also got uh, some extra stuff, so let me take it out from the box and take a look. First, I'm actually going to open the Odroid itself. This one is just the CMOS or backup battery. And even though the package is from Korea, this one is made in China. Now, this is the Odroid H4 Plus. The difference between H4 and H4 Plus, as far as I know, is the presence or absence of these four SATA ports. The rear RU is also not too bad at all. We have two USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, and then we have two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. As far as I remember, it's 2.5 gigabits. And then we have three display outputs, which I'm not quite sure why we would want three display outputs, and power supply connector. Unfortunately, it's only external power supply connector. Then on the back side, we have M.2 NVMe slot, which is PCI Express 3.0 x4. So it's full four lanes here. And then we have only one slot for DDR5 SO DIMM memory sticks. So yeah, it is just a single memory channel. It's pretty pathetic, but that's what you get if you buy an SBC. Over here we also have a tiny connector to connect some sort of an onboard EMC memory or a tiny SSD and I believe it's in this box so I'm gonna open it now and take a look. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that we have PWM fan connector uh, which works just a standard computer's PWM fan connector to install here a fan for power unrestricted operation. Then we have uh, here power and uh, reset button, I believe. Oh, maybe there is something else, power and something else. But unfortunately, I don't seem to find any uh, such kind of jumpers for power button to put power button on the front panel, but we will see. The battery goes here, by the way, and these white ones, this is power breakout for uh, SATA drives. So, turns out I didn't really have to buy an extra battery because one battery was already included. I thought that I needed to buy one battery extra, so I bought another one, but wasted money, but it was not that much. So this is the some kind of a tiny USB flash drive or tiny SSD that I am going to use as the boot drive and it connects over there. So it connects over there. Right now I'm recording, it's very inconvenient to get it connected, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but, well, it's supposed to be there. And that means that with this tiny EMC or flash drive available, what we can do, we can actually use this tiny board as a mini or micro NAS device, because we have four SATA ports, we have one M.2 NVMe and we have two Ethernet ports. So this is perfect for some tiny home use NAS. And I'm actually very interested to see what I can get out of it. Let's take a look at one of these uh, cables. This is to connect SATA drives. This is just a regular SATA, SATA cable. You can see it connects here just to nothing fancy, you connect it here and then you connect it to your SATA SSD or SATA HDD drive. And then for power, we need this kind of power cord. So again, nothing special, this is a standard SATA power and 
on the motherboard we have these white connectors so we connect it to the motherboard and this goes to your SATA SSD or HDD. Now I have already checked different specification and this motherboard can work with 12 to 20 volts power supply but if you use something which is uh, uh, less than 19 volts then this power is not gonna work. So if you want to use uh, this power from the motherboard to your uh, SATA uh, HDD drives then you need to connect power supply that is capable of at least 19 and a maximum 20 volts. It is also possible to use a standard computer power supply with an adapter over here and use that power supply directly to uh, power up your SATA drives. In my case, I am waiting for an adapter because I have an old 20 volts Lenovo power supply that I plan to reuse here to cut down cost of uh, this uh, plant MicroNAS build. So yeah, if you're interested in this project, uh, feel free to subscribe to my main channel. I will post videos and updates there. This is just a little unboxing video.